Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you guys seeing my face for the very first time, my name is Esmeralda, but most people like to call me Esme, and if you guys aren't yet subscribed, please make sure to hit that little red button. I would really, really appreciate it. I'm really close to reaching 1,000 subscribers, so I would love it if you guys join the family. So today I'm going to be doing a Shein fall clothing haul. This is actually my first time ordering from this website, and I've been thinking about ordering clothes from this website for a while now because I've seen some really cute pieces, and I've heard that they have great deals, but for some reason I just never got around to ordering just because I felt like since the prices were so low then that kind of said a lot about the quality of the clothing but a few months ago one of my friends Bethel if you're watching this she posted a photo with a really cute outfit it was like this white tank top and this jean skirt and I asked her where she got her clothes from and she told me it was from Shein and so that kind of motivated me to make this purchase so I'm gonna admit that right from the start this purchase did take me a lot longer to make in comparison to when I shop on other websites just because I did read through a lot of the reviews for the clothing pieces even though some of them had four to five stars there were still some people whose reviews were pretty low and they made comments regarding whether the pieces were too thin or see-through or they recommended if you were to size up or size down on some of the pieces so it did take me a lot longer to make this purchase so I got a package in the mail a few days ago and it is open but I haven't seen anything the reason that it's open is because my sister also ordered some stuff so she took her stuff out already but I haven't opened any of these packages because I want to give a real and honest first impression of the way that the clothes feels if I think it looks see-through and I'm also going to be trying on these pieces letting you guys know how I would style these during this fall season and actually by the time that this video goes up it's going to be the first day of fall so it's perfect timing by the way guys all the items are going to be linked in the description box below and I'll also be listing the prices during the try on part so let's just get started so as you guys can see I have quite a few things so let's just start with the first thing that's on top so just off the bat I actually really like this packaging I think it's really cute how each thing comes in their own bag but I do want to make the disclaimer that I don't think it's environmentally friendly to have each clothing piece in a plastic bag I think it would be better if they just threw it all in the packaging that they sent it in but let's see what this one is so the first one is this okay this is a skirt so this is a skirt that I got and it's actually a midi skirt and I think it has a slit yes so it has a slit right here it's not that high up and at first glance it does look pretty see-through but I feel like it'll be fine if I wear it with some nude shorts underneath and even though I've been staying home the majority of this year I got this skirt for when I go out to church I think it'll be a really cute outfit to wear. So with some nude spandex shorts underneath, the skirt didn't end up being see-through at all. And the sleeve was actually a lot higher than I thought, but it wasn't bad at all. The form and the shape of the sides just kind of looked a little bit odd and like really wide. So I'm not sure if it just needs to wrinkle from the way that it was packaged. But sadly, it was actually pretty tight. So I'm not sure if I'm going to end up keeping it or returning this. So the next thing that I ordered is I think something that I ordered for the skirt that I just showed you guys. And I've been wanting something like this for a while now. So yeah, it is. So this is a black one shoulder top. And just by feeling it, it doesn't feel that thin as I expected it to. And it doesn't look very see-through. It's a little bit see-through, but not as much. And I can't quite remember if they listed it as being crop top, but it does look a little bit shorter. Yeah, I think this looks really cute. It had really good reviews. They have it in a lot of different colors. They had it in a really pretty pink that I was actually going to get at first. But I feel like having a black top is really essential. So this is what the top looks like on. And I really like the way that it looks with the skirt. I think that they go really well together. Also, although it looked a bit cropped, when I took it out of the packaging, I actually really like the fit of this top. And I think that if you throw on a leather jacket, it'll really help bring this whole outfit together. Okay, so the next thing that I ordered is another top. And I think this is just like a... And this is one of the simpler tops that I got. Because I didn't want to choose more casual outfits. Oh, this feels really soft like right away. And it doesn't feel thin at all. So this is actually an oversized graphic tee and it looks really big but I think it'll look really cute so it's just white and I got it in the size small but as you guys can see it looks really really big <laughs> so right here in the center it has this turquoise butterfly and it says become the change 
and I was just instantly drawn to this one because I thought it was really simple but I really like the little message and I think that it's really cute and it looked really comfortable so as you guys know I'm doing classes from online this semester and so I looked for pieces that were more casual and comfortable and I decided to pair this top with some basic black leggings and I just threw on some white adidas and I just really liked how this whole outfit looks and although this outfit is really simple it's still really comfortable and I do have to admit that the shirt is pretty see-through but if you wear a tank top under or a nude bra then you'll be totally fine so the next piece is actually something that i saw being advertised on a social media site so it is this plaid top and it is cropped so what i really like about this is that it has like two different colors and patterns so i thought it was really unique and really different i think that these two colors look really nice together and the way that the model styled it was by having it opened with like a white top underneath so that's what I'm thinking about doing. So I ended up styling it with a white basic top underneath. And the buttons are actually really easy to unbutton. And I decided to pair it with these ripped high-waisted jeans and my black vans just for another casual look. Okay guys, so we're getting down to the last two bags. So this one I'm actually really excited to show you guys. It's actually a matching set. And it's not a tie-dye matching set. I know that that's really in right now. This is more of like a loungewear type of set. Okay, so right from taking it off, it feels really thick. So I'm going to show you guys the pieces. So this is a top and I think the term for it is like waffle knitted material as you guys can see it. And it's like a maroon color. So the top is cropped and I got it in the size medium. And then these are the pants. The pants feel really, really thick. So, so I'm really glad because it's already getting cold in Chicago. So they're just the same color. And it has this little waistband so you can make it tighter. And they actually have pockets. So yay, because I love it when pants have pockets. So I really like that. And then it's a little bit more tight at the bottom, which I really like in like sweatpants. I don't like them when they're too loose or in wide. So I really like that. So yeah, guys, let's go try it on. I'm really excited and I hope the top fits and it's not too small. Okay guys, so we have now reached the final piece of this order. So the last thing that I got is this purple button up long sleeve top. And this style is really in right now. I see a lot of people wearing like these button up tops. So just from feeling it, the material is a little bit more thin. But it looks pretty comfortable. Also, these buttons are not actual buttons. Like you can't unbutton them. They're just there for design. And I have a couple of ideas of how to style this, so let's go try it on. So I decided to style this top with these black jeans along with my black dark martin boots. And I felt like this outfit really screamed fall. And I just really loved how the purple looked with all black. And I think you can wear this outfit if you're going out to buy groceries or you're gonna go on a walk. I feel like it's comfortable, but you also look well put together. Okay guys, so those are all the pieces from Shein. And I actually ordered two things from Forever 21 and they got here around the same time so I decided to just show you them because why not so the first one is this green pullover so it has this zipper halfway down the middle and then on the sleeves it has these white stripes and then at the bottom of the sweater it has this elastic so you can make it tighter which I really like and I actually got this for only ten dollars so I thought that that was a great deal and personally this is how I would style it I think that it looks really cute with jeans or leggings so I decided to go with the same ripped jeans that I used in one of the previous outfits and then for this outfit I paired it with my white high top platform converse so as I mentioned I only got two things from Forever 21 and this is a very last item so this is a high neck top and it looks pretty weird holding it up because of this thing in the center but once I put it on, you guys will see how it's meant to look. So this is in the color Mocha. And it's really soft and comfortable. It's long sleeve, as you guys can tell. And I decided to pair this top with this corduroy black skirt. I think that corduroy is really cute for the fall. And I also threw on these black platform booties. And I feel like this outfit is really cute for going out since it is a little less casual. So I know with the state of the world, things are not the same. And some people don't feel comfortable going out. 
I'm actually one of those people. I haven't gone out to eat to a restaurant or go to a public place with a lot of people. So that's why most of these outfits are more on the casual, comfortable side. I did throw in two outfits that are more for like going out and I'll probably be using them to go to church or maybe to take some birthday photos in a couple of months. But overall, I would rate the clothing pieces from Shein a 6.5 out of 10. I didn't think that I would be satisfied with all the pieces that I got, but surprisingly they didn't turn out as bad as I expected, so that's a good thing. The only couple of things that I do want to point out is that I did take a while to decide on the pieces I wanted to order because of reading through the reviews and making sure that they were good quality pieces. Second thing was that some of the pieces were kind of thin and see-through. And lastly, I think that they use a lot of packaging, which I think they could reduce the amount of plastic that they use. But overall, it ended up being a lot better than I expected. So I hope that this video gave you guys a good idea of Shein and inspired you to come up with some fall outfits for this new season. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe down below and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!